Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're at Portside Social Bar and Restaurant in Port Dalhousie, which is like basically like St. Catharines, kind of Niagara area, so kind of Niagara Falls, Ontario. So, so, so beautiful here. We're directly across from the marina. It is crazy. It is such a beautiful sunny day. There's so many people walking out. They have a lovely patio. Like you just can't beat this spot, this location. Definitely right in the heat of it. I don't know, like this is just screams like take me on a date or like I'm having a nice Sunday afternoon, I wanna sit on your patio and have a drink or maybe six or seven dishes. So what I have in front of me today, I have lovely calamari. We have a braised short rib, yes that's right, a beautifully braised short ribs, mashed potatoes, seasonal vegetable, etc. I have their famous, yes, this is what they are very well known for, their lovely pear and brie pizza. Oil-based, caramelized onions, it looks very good. Smells very aromatic as well. We then have shrimp tacos. Shrimp tacos with their house-made salsa, house-made sauces, lightly battered seasoned shrimp. Then I have a lovely ribeye. That's right, guys. You know I love steak. I'm all about that beef. Lovely, lovely triple A Canadian ribeye. And last, we have a jambalaya. This is a very interesting rendition of jambalaya as it is made with pasta instead of rice. So pretty interesting, but we didn't have the andouille sausages, the shrimp, all that stuff in there. This is supposed to be spicy. So I'm excited, I'm ready for some food. Like I said, beautiful weather, I can't wait. So, here we are, my first time in Port Luzi, first time port side, let's have some fun. All right, so it looks very, very delicious, so ultimately let's get started. I think I'm gonna start, uh, I don't have much time, so I really wanna like hit all the good, exciting items. I'm gonna just dive right into this. Oh my gosh, did you, look at that. I'm just diving right into these ribs over here. I mean, I wasn't going to use my hands, but look at that. <laughs> that just pulled right out. All right, let's give this a try. This just looks very delicious. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right. That is a delicious little short rib. Beautifully cooked. You see how tender that was, just falling off the bone. That like melt in your mouth, careless whisper, George Michaels kind of thing going on. Too good. All right. Next one. That's so crazy. Just how soft and tender and juicy that all is. They have their jus on it, and it just literally falls apart. You know, how is everything tasting? It's good. You're good so far. First I'm, bite's I mean, good. I'm like two bites in. That's that's yeah. what we want. And it's pretty damn good. Check on it ASAP. Well, I like it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate good. it. Well, I will say, my first bites on this short rib would recommend. Very delicious. Try some of these mashed potatoes. Ooh, very buttery. I got mashed potatoes on the steak too, same as the green beans. Garlic, garlic on the green beans. Definitely. Nice and al dente. That's beautiful. Make sure you get some of these other items here. Woo! Delicious. All right. Let's hop on over here. I'm probably going to do the steak. Sherbet was good. Ribeye is next. It's like compound butter. I do love a steak. I just love beef in general. I think beef is the, like the best steak ever. So a nice little fatty piece there. cooked on a on a fire you get that fire grill going on there very 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 delicious it was deep 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 there you go it was deep beefy flavors of that ribeye kind of like simplicity of its basket 
pretty hard to go wrong with a good cut of beef. And that's exactly what I'd say about this. It's beef. How can you go wrong? Everybody knows how I feel about beef and animals. I eat them. You know, I once heard somebody say, and I quote, meat is murder. Delicious, delicious murder. <laughs> I'm just saying, animals are pretty tasty. Beef. Mm. And honestly, I have the nicest view right here. I wish you guys could see. There's lovely tulips over there. I have the water right here. I'm thankful for the summertime. I was sick of winter. Winter ain't cool. Beef is cool. I do love good piece of meat. All right, try this calamari. This calamari has come with their house-made chipotle aioli. I do like a calamari. Try it in the sauce. Ooh. Ooh, chipotle. Excuse my interruption. I'm just gonna clear some of these empty plates. Perfect. How's everything so far? I can't complain. Yeah? Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Your chipotle aioli, very chipotle flavor. I love a chipotle pepper. It's just such a nice smoky, smoky aspect. They have a really, really, really great chipotle flavor in them. And just a nice sweetness of the aioli. Very rich. It's actually a very good serving too. Like a large portion. Oh, that really wants to try one of these shrimp tacos. Looks very good. Pineapple salsa, pineapple yogurt sauce on it. And I see people walking by with ice cream. Y'all know how I feel about ice cream. And desserts. This looks really cool, actually. Pretty big taco. I could probably... I probably won't bite this thing. That's pretty big. That's like a... I don't know. Whatever big that is. Let's see if I can one bite it. <sighs> Cheers. Very fresh. That pineapple salsa adds a really nice acidity. And same as that yogurt sauce, very tangy. Let's go. Do some hot sauce, put a little Tabasco on there. Just give it maybe a little kick, a little bit of heat. Shout out to Tabasco, no Louisiana, birthplace. Cheers. Very good. Very good combination. Love those flavors. I said the city of that pineapple, just really nice addition. Ah, shout out Daiko. Makes me just go smack my lips, suck my teeth. Jay Brock, stop sucking your teeth. Comment down below if you know where that's from. Very good though. That's a taco. Such a beautiful day. Taco. Goodbye, Taco.
That worked. All right. I got pizza. And then the jambalaya made with the pasta. So they said this has a bit of a kick to it. So let's see that it has a bit of a kick to it. Ooh. Definitely those flavors, that andouille sausage with that tomato. Getting almost like a... I don't know if it's like an Old Bay spice, like, kind of like Old Bayish flavors. Maybe it's bay leaves, like whatever that flavor is. Really reminds me of Southern cooking. Got some okra in here as well, some peppers. I know they're saying that if you want it spicy or mild, they'll make it however you like. I just went with it traditionally. Which I said is one with a bit of heat. On my palate, it's definitely not crazy spicy, but it just has a lot of flavor. Getting like, getting like that, almost like Old Bay, the black pepper, Really about that sausage, that shrimp. Very different on a pasta. Like I said, I'm used to seeing like a jambalaya, more of like a rice. This is honestly a very... It's very like, a, it's like a light, it's, it's a very summery dish actually. With the sunshine, these flavors on my palate, it suits very well the peppers, are crisp. You have you know, a little bit of savoriness kind of coming from that sausage. But it's nice and light. Definitely not like a, I was thinking it might be pretty heavy, but it's actually quite refreshing. I'd be like I sit on the patio, have this and yeah, actually, really nice. Like, a little different than I thought it was going to be. But for something so different, being maybe like a pasta, they pulled it off very, very, very well. I know they made this, they said they made the sauce here, so. They did a good job. They did a good job. It sort of looks like a ciabatta garlic bread or something like that. Yep, that's what that is. No complaints. Excuse me. Filling up that shirt. Definitely no shortage of food. Woo! All right, try this pizza. Like I said, this is one of their most popular items. I really like the sound of the pears. Like the brie and pear just sounds like a really cool combination. Being like I said, just summer patio. That's really the vibes I get from this place. Ooh, balsamic glaze as well. Damn. Okay. Sweetness from that brie that car and that caramelized onion together. Mm. That's literally a glob of brie. See that? Mm. Mm. That little bit of pear, just like texture, a little bit of sweetness. Very, very good pear. Yeah, I don't think, like, I, think, I don't know if I've had pear, maybe I've had pear on a pizza before, but I think I have, but this is definitely a little different. They're at a really nice bite of pear. It's really like a subtle flavor, but it adds a lot within that pairing. It's very complimentary. Definitely gonna save some of this pizza. I have a friend who I know is gonna really appreciate this. You're gonna have to try this. It's such a different pizza being like, again, like oil based and all the flavors. It really doesn't even taste like pizza per se because it's not, not tomato sauce. This is a very like light, fresh dough. It's a very fresh item. This would be actually like a really good shareable item. Again, like still on a patio, share one of these. All right, I'm gonna have one more piece. 
and then maybe I'll see if they have dessert. Because you always have to have room for dessert, even though I'm very, very full. Six dishes is enough for me when I'm gonna go check out the waterfront here, but let's have some of this. And, like, so I have to acquire about dessert. All right, very delicious. I like all those items. Like I said, the location here is perfect, the food is good. I think my favorites of the day were probably the beef short rib. The beef short rib was very, very good. This pizza, actually, I think was probably the most surprising item. I didn't really know what to expect, but I definitely think that it's kind of sweet and savory kind of combination is probably the most impressive, or at least the most surprising, I should say. So yeah, definitely would recommend trying that beef, the beef short rib. Very delicious, off the bone. Pizza, really good flavor. Shrimp tacos have a really nice kind of uh, complex dynamic going as well with that pineapple salsa, a little bit of acidity from the yogurt sauce, and a nice dish of the hot sauce. So well, that's pretty much it. Like I said, let's see if they have dessert. And if not, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, till next time, say happy all the hungry, happy eating. Hope you enjoyed this quick one. Just a nice light lunch. I'm just kidding, this is not a light lunch. Don't ever eat as much as I do. But seriously, come on by Portside, really cool spot. Like I said, beautiful location. The patio is beautiful. Very nice place to spend a summer day. So everybody, until next time, if we don't get dessert, say happy all the hungry, happy eating. Until next time, you know what to do. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you in my life. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.